This video is going to show you how to find the energy as a charged particle goes between two energized plates. So the question, the example question is to find the energy associated with an electron as it starts from rest at the left plate and is released. To put this in perspective, if the electron's energy was given to a 1000 kilogram car, then how fast would the car have to travel? So two questions to look at. Now this all comes from our little analysis of talking about electron gun. And so when we're looking at it, all we need to do is know about the plates and the battery. The rest of it is just show. So I've got these two plates connected to a 9-volt battery. They're separated by 15 centimeters of distance. The electron is negatively charged. Its charge, or the variable Q, can be looked up in any textbook or online. The, place on the, right, or the, sorry, the plate on the right is positively charged because it's connected to the positive side of the battery. The plate on the left is negatively charged because it's connected to the negative side of the battery. If an electron is placed on the left, it will be attracted to the right plate because the right is the opposite charge. So if it's attracted, it's going to gain energy as it goes across the plates. So an electron can start from rest and pick up speed. But if it was reversed and the plate opposite the electron, that is on the right, was negative instead, so if it was connected to the negative side of the battery, then instead of gaining energy, it would lose energy. So it would have to enter the plate at the left with some kind of initial energy so it had something to lose, or else it would never make it across. So let's look at the problem. I know that kinetic energy plus the work done by the field equals the kinetic energy when I get to the opposite side of the plate, and I want that Ke final. But it starts at rest, so the initial kinetic energy goes away, so that just means that the work is equal to the kinetic energy when it reaches the other side of the plate. That being said, work is equal to Q times V, so QV is equal to kinetic energy. In other words, the charge of an electron, which I can look up or find in the electrostatics constant sheet that I gave out in class, is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs times 9 volts, because that's the voltage between the two plates or that's on the battery. And that's the kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy is 1.44 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. All right, so let's take a look at this in terms of the second part of the question about the car. So here's the kinetic energy of the car. So I look at the kinetic energy of the electron equal to 1 half m of the car times v squared. So 1.44 times 10 to the negative 18 joules is equal to 1 half times 1,000 kilograms times v squared. And when I solve this for V, I get 2.88 times 10 to the negative 21 meters per second. That is so slow. I, don't, I, I can't even see how slow that is. That's 2.88 zepto meters per second. Zepto, so that's a, a sextillionth of a meter per second. That is so slow. If I got touched by a car traveling this fast, I probably wouldn't even notice it. 